Alrighty, chat, thanks for sticking around. I appreciate y'all. What's going on here? This thing is empty and needs to be moved. All right. Unless, I don't know. Anyway, uh, thanks for that, guys. Um, yeah, let's go back to that boat. It's not going to, oh, that. It's the switch. The switch was that wrong. That's why. Okay, let's uh, get back to it. Switch against it? Hello, hello, hello. hello. Yeah, yeah the switch was against me. Uh... That's why I wasn't moving. Um... I pulled the fuse E. <laughs> it's all good. Good question. Hmm. There is a place to sell stones. It's the debris crusher. It's on the right side of the map. Uh, yeah, far right side. Kind of like, like where you uh, sell grapes. Over there somewhere. Yep, right side of the map on Elm Creek. It's there. It's called debris crusher. You can always go in your escape menu, go down to like... Uh, Oh, uh, what's it called? Where you can see like where everything sells. Go down to stones. You can highlight it through there. Um, so chat. I forgot to ask him about that, Kimmy. I was more concerned about the other story that happened. Um, so I get to figure out how to replace the tail light on a 2019 Dodge Ram. <laughs> 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 and apparently when it when it when it warms up a little bit, we get to replace the mailbox too. So yeah. <laughs> Jeez. He definitely hit it. <laughs> apparently it didn't like mess up paint, he said just a little bit right above the taillight, but uh he definitely has a broken taillight and he said the mailbox definitely it might live, but should probably be replaced, I guess. <laughs> so, in fairness, this is the first time Pops has hit anything in a vehicle in like forever. Been a long time. I should, I'm gonna know. Knock on wood when I say that. I don't wanna jinx it, you know? But yeah, so, it is what it is. It's not a huge deal. You right? don't have enough coal trap? I should. Uh, Trent, I'm coming down the hill, by the way. I don't know if yeah, you're I know. Okay. I just happened to look. I'm like, mm, this could be bad. Let's not have a collision. It won't be head on, at least. Because between, between me and you, it, there's no uh, bypass anyway. No. No, there's not. So. But yeah, so looking forward to replacing a taillight on a on a rail. We should get some sick LED like aftermarket ones, right? It's going up, up and back. I only burn like three ton. There. That's what I should tell Dad. I should tell him that I, I'll find something with uh, a brighter backup light. I had eight eight tons going up there. Oh, you know, just nice. remember, you're going, you're going further now, and it's uphill when you're coming back from both Canada. ways in the snow. I mean, you might as well. Can you? How easy it is it? Easy is it for you to fill up? I'm in the 25 zone still, or just leaving that. So you got time, is what I'm getting at. You know. Yep. I mean, I'm a rolling. I got mine set to AI, so it'll go track speed. So. I didn't want to babysit the brake all the way down the hill, basically. AI it is. AI it is. But we've served every station now, so we're good on passengers technically, right? Yep. And I know I have passengers on board. But it, 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 if they sit on the train overnight, they sit on the train, right? They don't care. They might, but whatever. We'll give them some, you know... Chex mix or something. They'll be fine. Dude, Chex mix sounds good now. <laughs> like the cheddar one? 
Yeah. Good stuff. All right, I'm on the the straight hill here. Kind of straight. That's good. Back down yonder there in a minute. Are we lined in? I can't tell. You should be. All right. Okay, those coyotes are really getting obnoxious. The what? Coyotes. I oh at Starbase. Yes. Just mute the sound. But it's nice to hear the PA. <laughs> What's going on there right now? Nothing. And they're doing stuff to OLM, but they took the crane apart, right? I know. Uh, mostly, yeah. yeah. Like that was—I thought that was kind of crazy, but it's probably just like general maintenance. That or they're getting like, are they going upgrades so they can go bigger? I don't know. Some thoughts are they might upgrade to the thirteen thousand. No. Oh. Wow. It'd be like Franklin crane pop. then, wouldn't it? Possibly ship this one down to the Cape. Oh wow! Dude, down just drive Florida. it on the barge, full, full, full boom. Just drive it right on the barge, and just send it to the Cape like that. That would be amazing. Just saying. All right, rolling in back into Brasset. I feel like you know. All tracks lead to Bryson, right? That's what we're going with. All tracks lead to Bryson. Hope you're out of the way, Trent. I know it'll stop me. Still hope you're out of the way. Got that green light. Hold on, man. We'll go back to manual to actually drive the train. And we should be able to just coast from here. To the bustling city of Brasson. Is all you got left those couple cars, Trent, back here? No, oh, and then the, all that rice and stuff. But... Don't worry about the Bryson stuff. Go on the long run. Get that done. I can handle the Bryson stuff. I'd rather have you go far and get done. I don't, uh, so I don't put the coal, though. Well, I understand that, but I'm saying don't worry about the Bryson. I can handle that right now. Well, that's what Dave is going to have you do anyway. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. I can ditch these, uh, ditch these right here. Well, here in a second. And then do the Bryson. You got a new train that tackles the hill pretty well after Bryson. Nice. That's our next purchase, Polar Bear. We're, we're try I'm trying to save money. I'm trying to save money for uh, for a loco. Yes. That one, Dave, that Pacific might be good and cheap. A local farmer being a train driver. I, I, I am multifaceted, okay? I can I can drive a train, I can dang it. That, did I flip that switch twice or somebody else flipping switches here on me? <laughs> I think I don't I might have flipped that switch twice. Tomorrow we're driving semi trucks, by the way, so you know. Make sure you tune in for that, six PM Central. I five PM. Yeah. 5 p.m. Set. Nice, uh, polar bear. Nice, nice. How is that, uh, engine? ATS. I don't play ATS. I'm. That's one I won't do. I'm not a European truck driver. I'm an American truck driver. Just saying. Can't do the European stuff. No offense to the. I don't want to go that far, actually. Let's go up here. 
No offense to anybody, but I can't do the the Euro truck driving. I just can't. I can't do it. Cannot do it. I've tried. I've got a couple hundred hours in my game, actually. I think. I do like all the uh, the lights and stuff you can get on the trucks. The customization I feel like is better on Euro truck. Or at least it used to be, I don't know. Hold more water and pull. I just don't like the roads and like all that. I don't I don't care for a lot of that stuff, if that makes sense. Okay, we got oh. one to go straight in. Do what, Dave? How, how is that polar bear? Like, what's the top speed on it? Because I think that's technically like the, you know, those geared locomotives. Oh, in, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's what that is. Oh, man, that's what Trent needs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's why it's good for climbing the hill. Yeah, yeah, I think it'd be awesome for climbing hills then if it's a gear drive. Yeah, I, I think that's what it is. I think that's kind of more suited for that walker. Yes. That's awesome. Those are, are I think, are even worse. Oh, wow. Crazy. That's where you need, like, an engine to bring you cars as far as it can, and then you pop over, right? Holy cow. 2530 with a 1200 ton. All right. It's crazy. How much are we pulling up the hill right now? Like our max? Uh, about kinda? 700. For one engine? Oh. Bam. I know, Trent, you can pull the, the world with your, uh, what's that engine you want so bad on here? Berkshire. Yeah, that would be the one. Right, That's Dave. the big boy. Dave, is that you with me? Yeah. You want to kick that front one off? Yeah. All right. Never got to full speed derail too much already. <laughs> Oh, man. That's funny, Polar Bear. Like, I don't care who you are. That's funny. Just saying. Uh, you return them after usually a day, sometimes two, sometimes more. Uh, it just depends. Some some freight takes longer to empty or to fill. Because you're not just taking full cars all the time. Sometimes you're taking empties, too. Um, like, this one's technically empty right now. So. Yeah, sometimes you're taking full. Sometimes you're taking empties. It just kind of... Uh, it just kind of depends on the, 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 the site and stuff. Uh, but, yeah, you do take them back. So right now, so they all they're all green, so they're all for here at Bryson. And then after we get all of our work done today, and we're able to fast time through the night, these same cars, some of these same cars, maybe not all of them, but some of them will want to go back to the interchange. Yeah, we've already gotten rid of all of those today. Nice polar bear, nice, nice, nice. Rocco, this is called Railroader. Welcome in. Played last night, first time. Nice, nice, nice. Welcome to the Railroader community. I don't know what you call it. But yeah, it's a good time, man. It is a good time. Definitely. One more cold car. Definitely could be a little confusing and a little overwhelming. I mean, when we started today in game, we had 50 cars that spawned back at our interchange. 
uh, 50 cars and we're still sorting through them and it's almost noon in game and our time is set to like one to one and the in game day started for us at eight o'clock so uh, it's it's a bit we got three engines right now and really we need we need more uh, we need we probably need two more realistically because then you could run a double header up the hill right and pull a lot more up the hill and then probably run double headers to and from here and and back you know i don't know something like that at least a couple more would be nice though i was laughing at uh there's a car ready at uh appalachian hardwoods oh yeah yeah the only car left oh yeah 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 uh, this is multiplayer, so right now there's three of us in here. You can have up to 32 people. Yeah. Yep, single and multi. Yep, definitely. Do whatever you want to do. I don't typically play in first person, and my first person character is at the CTC board, so... That's where I just leave him. He's fine there. It will be just fine back at the CTC. Just saying. Volunteer Heritage Railways in Australia. Nice. Sean, can you imagine the chaos? You'd have to have 31 and one person run a dispatch. You'd have to have dispatch at that, at that point. That many... Just saying. I'm going way too fast, aren't I? Is that yeah. why, is that why I, you're, I, like, slowing me down here? Yeah. Figured right. I'd help you out. I was going to slam on the brakes. Okay. You're fine. It'll buff. Right. Uh, it is on Steam, yes. It's on Steam. It's like 30 bucks. It's still early access, stuff like that. It came out back in December. So some of the stuff looks a little cheesy, but like they even talked about like in a video, like, yeah, we're going to go early access. We know our buildings don't look the best, but like the core gameplay, it's there, you know? Why we got to do that, huh? R1, R1, A, okay, B. All right, we're going to have to flip-flop those, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Hooray. Okay. It happens. I'm probably going to have to push that car in because I, oh, that one needs to come out of there. That's what I was laughing at. Oh, that one. Uh-huh. Yeah, that wasn't ready before. No. Nah, definitely not. Mm hmm So that's got to go all the way back. Oh, boy. Yeah, they're kind of annoying. Polar bear, not going to lie, but... Sorting cars is, is the thing they do in real life, so... Well, that interchange car, you might as well just leave that there at Bryson. Well, I got passengers I can bring back, so I can bring it with me. Yeah, guys, I'm going to leave that up to a mod. Tim so. underscore NZ just resubscribed for 22 months. 22, it rhymes with choo-choo. It does. Tim, thanks for the reset for 22 months. Do appreciate you. You want to slow down? No. Do you want me to? Yeah. You're no fun. You're no See, fun. If you wanted to, you could just leave that because tomorrow I'll have these Fontana You're good. cars, Arca, and the coal cars. There we go. 
Yeah, I knew it was gonna happen. I was just I was just seeing if mods were paying attention. Oh, the self promoting. Gotta love it, right, chat? Ah, uh, we'll go ahead and drag it out of here, chat, because why not? Fine. Might as well. It's all good. I just love that people on Twitch think that's a viable way um, to grow a channel. You know what I mean? I just, I really think that, that, that that's funny. I just, I don't know. It cracks me up. Yeah. Cracks me up. Good, Sean. It wasn't like that bad, but obviously he was self promoting, but like it wasn't as blatant as some of the other ones, you know? If he would have just said, I'm going to play the game after I get home from work, like that's fine. No need to promote it. You know, it's just disgusting. That or I should just go in his stream and self promote my stream. That's what I should Gosh. start doing with all these self promoting kids, right? I should totally do that. What? I'm sure they'd love it. I, I'm, dude, how many channels could I get banned out of? <laughs> oh, that would be so much fun, actually. Wouldn't it? I think it'd be a good time. And the second comment probably got deleted as a, uh, like, accidental. Seven followers. Okay, we're not gonna worry about that yet. I'm saying. Mike Burger. I promote my awesome tractor driving every stream, but it's my stream. I can promote what I want. The point is, other people coming in and promoting themselves. It's just kind of gross. To be honest, it's a lack of respect and, you know, all that, all that fun stuff. So, that's all. Just a total lack of respect for, you know, anybody on Twitch to do that. And I get it. He shouldn't. I mean, I thought he got banned. What happened to that? I thought he got banned, guys. It might only been to lead a message. <laughs> All right. You just work. All I do is work, work, out of work. <laughs> I gotcha. Don't need to promote. Tim's already here. All right, Tim. Oh, man. We, we got this down tonight, huh, Chet? How many cards did that just say? I wasn't paying attention. 18. Oof. 18 more cards back at the Interchange Rose Boys. I caramba. Oh, man. This is fun. Uh oh. We got hail. Fun, 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 fun. Oh, there is an engine back there, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm repairing log cars from a, a derailment previously. Oh, we had a derailment? Uh, we didn't. Who did? Well, I think you did. On stream a couple times ago. Oh, you're repairing them? Yeah. Okay, okay. Sarge, what's up? Oh, much. How's yep. it going? I, it's, it's going. We uh we had fifty cars. Well, that was the other night. We had fifty cars spun. And we just had another. Uh, eighteen. Was it eighteen? Yeah. Okay. Got an engine I can grab. I don't know if there's what's going on with the one that's back at Whittier. I don't know. I don't know what's up with it. Oh, nothing. Or wait, or something. Hang on a second. There we go. Uh, I don't know. Where, where's it at? Uh, actually behind the uh, shed here with a couple. Okay, Wild so cars. it's in to be repaired. It's fine. Yeah, the engine's good. I, it was just how it's positioned. Yeah. Okay. Or how the I can log get a, cars are. I can get it pulled out of here and put the log cars back. Okay. Bear, we'll catch you later. Have a good one. Yeah, that and, well, I'll be heading that way, I guess, with the uh, passenger cars here in a minute, too. So. Probably pass each other somewhere out on the open rails, right? We can run CTC. Uh, gosh. I'm a nerd chat. Don't mind me. This is Professor. They're going. Welcome in. Howdy. How does the economy work? Uh, magically? Very slowly. The That's on demand. The it's very slow. That's how the economy really works. It is supply and demand, yeah. But very slow. Uh, sarcasm. Uh, it's true, though. It's true. Very slow. It's not a fast, uh, a fast money-making game. That's for sure. The, the grind is real. But that's okay. It's all good. Is this actually going to work? Yeah, we can make this work. We can make that work. It might not be pretty, but... Can we push that observation car at all, or no? Or does it literally have to be the back? Like, you can't. It has to be the rear. But can I push it forward at all, or no? Yeah. Because I might need to bunce it forward just a little bit. Uh, so basically you own the Locos and you own a few cars. Um, as you unlock more things, you'll own more cars. But when you start out, you own just a couple log cars and like a coal car. That's it. But you, you do own the Locos, yes. It says observation car generated 20% bonus to passenger fares when operated as the last car in the train. Okay. I gotcha. I always thought that you couldn't even hook anything to the back of it the way you guys talked. You can, mm. right? See, I'm a, I'm a hard slummy kind of guy. L3FT 4D3 Adch Eardex 100 Casey Pizza Delivery Service here. Yo, what's up? Bound and down. What's up, left? How's it going? Uh, thanks for the bits. Uh, this is one of the locos you start with. Yeah, start with two, and then beyond that, you're not buying any on day one. 
basically. They're very expensive and money is very slow in this game. To, I mean, you can take a loan, but I don't know that I would. I haven't. Or we actually do have a $5,000 loan out right now. But I would recommend not racking up too much debt. Hey, what do I well, know? well, and if we uh, didn't take so many milestones, we'd have that decent amount true. of money too. We did do a lot of milestones, which are good because they the progress the game, but they cost a lot of money. So that's the only uh, that is the only downside. So yeah. So I thought that the way you guys always talked about this car is that you couldn't even hook anything up to it. Like it physically, it wouldn't work, right? No, the first passenger car you can't. Oh, really? It has right. a different platform on it. How did this get turned around? What? I'm, I'm dumb. Never mind. I thought this was the observation car on this end. No. See, I was just going to push the train forward a little bit and then go around and then sneak to the other end of it is what I was going to do, but I don't have to do that, so. Or would we go? Never mind. I mean, everybody that got on here, Bryce. Right? Yeah. All right, never mind. All right. Uh, live thanks to the bits, by the way. Appreciate you. All right, Sarge, you must still be a bit of your custom there, huh? Yes. All right. I checked What's our... What's that? What's what? thing that was just popped up on your screen. What's this? You know the old school... Uh, well, here, hang on. Let me... Uh, uh, that forward. There you go. All right, I'm gonna, it's going to reload the game. Everybody, don't, don't freak out. Hang on. L3 FT 43 at Chairdex 100. When is Sunday? The usual joint. You won't wave either way. Laughed I was there today. I had lunch. It was so foggy from the overpass, you couldn't even see their sign. Just, just throwing that out there, left. Uh, so, Sarge, up top here is the diagram of the rail. Hang yeah. On. I think I have that train going the wrong way, don't I? Ooh. There's something wrong with it. Oh, I switched it to CTC. So, okay, hang on. He needs a uh, he needs a green light. Duh. Uh, normal. There you go. All right. So, diagram of your rail. You got all your 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 main sidings, right? So, main line, and then your sidings. And then we have the top row here of controls. I'm calling them. You can change your switches from normal to reverse. And then you can set all your um, your uh, signals too, which is kind of kind of cool actually. And then you have a button down at the bottom to actually like send the message uh, to make it happen. Okay, it's pretty sweet. So eventually we'll probably run this, but for right now, I mean we don't have to. We can, but we don't we don't have to. Uh, why does he not have a green light coming out? Oh, because that switch is set wrong. That's why. Okay. There we go. Now this guy should fire up and run. Now the switches, even if we're in the other mode where uh, we're not using the table there, the switches or the signals do still work. So if a switch is set the wrong way or there's a train in the block front in front of you or whatever, you'll have a red light. Or, you know, a yellow light, depending on what's going on, right? Okay. So, the, the, the block, basically block block signals, so like from, say, Satisfactory, you know? Or, you know, from a real railroad. Yeah. Same difference. Yeah. It is, uh, it's pretty cool. Is that Trent's almost at destination? I'm already here. So, what what cars did we get in those those cars? Uh, seven more sawmill cars. Okay. 
five Alarga Junction site cars. Oh no. Got more Alarga Junction. Uh, five, yeah. Uh, two okay. stencil. I'm and... heading back down. Yeah, might as well. Four uh, Appalachian hard, or uh, four Bryson cars. Any Robinson? Uh, no. So we got a whole smorgasbord sitting back there then, huh? Yes. Boy. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put him on a road mode for right now. I got to see what my Robinson cars are ready yet. Yeah, if you got something ready, bring it with you. Backing um, up here. That's crazy. Uh, where are you at, Sarge? He's at with uh, the interchange. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't worry about him. He's good. I can hook onto the whole line of them and take off. You might as well. Might as well. All right. So the, we're gonna we're gonna run CTC, okay? <laughs> um, where do you think we're gonna meet? Hello. I mean, I gotta stop at Ella anyway, right? So, but all right, if I uh, I pass down an hour, I'm okay with that. I gotta do one more. Uh, wait, one more for a one more car. Okay. All right. It's a little jarring when you go back to the train, but it's. Fine. Last time one hour, why isn't that one going down? I don't know. A train pushing instead of pulling is a first, really? No. That's just the way it works out sometimes, you know? I'll fix it when we get back, back here, don't worry. But that's the way it was. I was thinking for some reason the passenger cars were faced the other way. And that I needed to flip my engine. That's why I hit the Y in the first place. Otherwise, I I didn't need to hit the Y. But I did, thinking. I don't know what I was thinking there. It's fine. It is what it is. Go ahead, Sarge. Okay, everything that's in here at the sawmill. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, if you want to, why don't you leave the sawmill cars and just start the journey to get those where they need to go because it's so far. I'm coming back there anyway because I got passengers. Okay, yeah, I can do that. And I have a car for the interchange. Um, and I can, I'll swap the sawmill stuff with this engine. Yeah, why don't you just go ahead and, and actually, hopefully, uh, hopefully I make it on water. Oh. The, the farthest cars are going to a arc, all right, on that new stuff. I think so. Yeah, only the Larco. Okay, I just wanted to be sure. I'm down to uh, 850 water, so hopefully I make it. Oh, I'm down to 2,900. <laughs> I didn't pay uh, mm -hmm. attention at all. Yeah. Actually, yeah. we need to set those Whittier cars off there, Sarge. Yeah, I will. Oh, okay. Yeah, you want some help with it? Why is this engine... Uh... I don't have anything else going, maybe. Uh, yeah, no, there's only three engines, so... Yeah. We need more engines. The big thing we need more engines for is running doubleheader with the, with the 50 car spawn, you know? Right. <laughs> Not only well, that, having at least one engine to push up the hill. Yeah, we need we need well either a really big engine there or on a double header there pretty much full time. Really, having a second like bigger engine would be nice there, and then you run two trains because there's multiple locations to go to, right? Instead of having to pour pull up the hill four times, say in a day, I have to go twice. I don't know. Or you just pulled one big train depending on where you're going. Yeah. Alright, so now that I'm past governors, I'm going to start lining these switches.
are these signals for Sarge going back the other direction here um, and we'll actually put them on the, the siding at Bryson uh, Trent you're coming in normal normal at Bryson right yeah You'll, you should have a green light coming in Trent um, at Bryson Oh, I'm going on main line. No. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, maybe I had just that for main line. Yeah. Yeah, you already hit the coupler. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I'll let you handle those cars and. Okay. Yeah, already. I might get you. Well, have you? No, you haven't left yet. Trust. But there's not a passing point out here anywhere. I just realized it shows the signals on the map. I didn't realize that. Well, it even tells you your signal number. Yeah. Uh, Mrs. Professor, we are at 84. We were at like 93, I think. So, just a little bit, but not not bad. We can still get the tier three contracts and discounts on stuff. So it it wasn't a huge deal. So far, we're looking good today. So you know, probably shouldn't say that too loud, though, right? Yeah, John. <laughs> Yeah. Probably shouldn't say that. But it's fine. Alright, Sarge. Assume you're about to leave a little bit here there, right? Yard. Um yeah, I'm about to move forward. I got two cars to drop off. Okay. Up ahead. Yep, you're good. And actually, if you just drop those, I'll handle them when I come down too. Since you got to take them other cars like real far, you know. I would. I don't mind doing that. Drop and go. Actually, I might. You know, I might sneak down there before you uh, before you leave. We'll see. I don't want to hold you up, so I might I might wait. I might I don't know yet. Yeah, not too bad, Mr. Professor. Not too bad. But we'll be honest. Six hundred gallons of water. I'm a little nervous on the water. A little nervous on the water. I only have to make it to Whittier, though, so one more stop, right? Yeah. Uh, I know I'm about to enter, about to go past the red light. It's no big deal. Grab passengers here. Back to the board here real fast. I'd give myself a green light, but I'm sitting on the light. It doesn't, it can't be a green light, so. It's fine. Okay, top light and bottom light. Stop light's gonna be your your uh it's always right hand traffic, right? So right right would be top. Right? So if you're uh Sarge needs to go into the siding at Whittier. At Whittier. Yeah. Um that's this one, right? Right hand like that. Like that. 
All right. And then, so you're you're gonna be on the siding. So we'll. Yeah. Hit the brakes. Uh, you guys are just dropping cars, right? Yeah, I need to drop a couple and then grab the ones behind it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to back up and let you come through then. If you got time. Do I have time? Yeah. Okay. I just don't want to hold him up because he's got to go far. I don't have to go that far. Uh, There's... Plenty of work to do at Whittier. Come on. I know, but he's got we gotta get those cars over to train. My point. I'll come do the Whittier work if you guys run, you, you know. That's what I'm saying. Don't don't talk about it, be about it, you got it. I'm Are you guys leaving there then? No. Not yet. All right. I drop these two cars and then and I'll take off. Uh, all right. Well, I'm lined in on the main line. So hold the sword on that next uh, red there, Sarge. Freak him out. How about that? On train. Well, actually, it might be a good thing that you're down here because I might need a tug to get water. I might have to be rescued tonight. Too bad we can't place water towers wherever we want, like railroads online. Water tower. Oh. Well. It happens. You're good, Serge. Come on. Over 30, but that's not an issue anyways. No big deal. Passengers off of here. Some of them have been cooped up for hours. Oh, wait, we're running one to one. Never mind. They've been cooped up for minutes. It would be a scenic, uh, it'd probably be a nice, nice trip, wouldn't it? High along the river and stuff. It'd probably be pretty nice. How far down you start the first time? No. I mean, the ore, say coal or iron or whatever, it only goes down to a certain point fire. But you can start digging at the surface. Or you could dig like a ramp next to it and then like dig into the pile either way. I prefer to dig the ramp next to it because then you can go all the way to the bottom and then just dig into the into the pile that way as opposed to because like you don't want to drive on it because then you're you're kind of wasting to use like say iron ore as as a ramp you know it's, it's a waste in my opinion yeah but there's no right way or wrong way to play that game. And actually, probably everything I know about that game, you just throw it out the window. I know that game's changed a bunch since uh, since I've played it last. Yeah. 
I want to mess with their, uh, they have like things to make your conveyor belts go up the walls now. And like the big piles where you can make piles of stuff. Pretty cool. It is pretty darn cool. 240 on the water jet. You gotta go like right there where my mouse is. It should be okay. At least that's the hope. There's a button fire. I don't remember what it is, but there's a button you can push to like. It'll basically tell you how far down the coal is or iron or whatever you got there. Whatever you're digging at. Yeah, I think should might be the keyword here, but if nothing else, Sarge is sitting right up here in front of me. So. Yep, Sarge is right there, so. We will be okay either way. All right. Uh, uh, RG should have nothing but green lights in front of you now. Alrighty. You have green lights and all normal uh, switches till you get all the way over there. So. Should be good. Get there with um, us then. What? Never mind. Switch defaulted. It did. All good. Did I not flip that for you too? No. Not that one. No. All good. How far become booth for the, so you have to like it's an upgrade, just like a lot of other stuff in this game, so it takes money. Lots of money. Okay, we gotta get to here. Uh, so yeah, even if the switch isn't set, Sergeant, you're driving through the way you did. Um, it'll, it'll, it'll go for you. Does that makes sense. It'll definitely go for you. Okay. Um, how does that work? What? Are those two yeah, cars about to be done or something? Cause that one's about to be, it's at nine. There's not room for all four of these up there. Yeah, no, there's not. That's awkward. I might just wait then before I, you know, before I do that. All right, unload people, come on. Come on. All right, it's water time. One hundred and sixty right now, y'all. Just got to get to that water tower. That's all we gotta get to. Got to get here. I have one darn coal car that's holding out on me. Really? Well, I got one. You can go another hour. I don't have a problem with that. Go. Actually, I mean, that's going to help me over here, too. Not really, Ooh. though. Never mind. Didn't need yeah, that. we probably probably should have ran sawmill or log cars up to the sawmill before we fast timed. I was still uh, time. Well, the pond's down to 50%. Hey, that's half full. Glass half full? Or it's half empty? No, it's half full. Half full, bro. Oh. Nailed it. I don't know what I had. Under under 180. It was definitely under 160. 140, maybe? Oh. 
We made it though. That's all that matters, right? Yep. I don't need a rescue 911 kind of moment, so uh, we'll be okay. We will be just fine. It looks like with that bridge will be done tomorrow, so you'll have another couple people. Oh to... boy! You get the engine. You get to see what me and Sarge get to see. You mean? Wait. You get to go farther. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait. You got Amon. Uh, I forget how you actually say that. Ata town. We need to Google. Well, it's, 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 all right. I think, I think it's in Colorado, maybe. This is in. The Carolinas, bro. Oh, Carolina. <laughs> this is not Colorado. Oh, yeah. I need to grab some coal while we're down here, too. Oh, I said it in question. Oh, I for I didn't hear the question mark. Sorry. Oh, nothing stops here. Hey. Oh, you should be rolling, right? Take off. Yeah. All right. At least we made it to the water and hole. That is good. Very, very happy about that. And the passenger cars are out of service for today, y'all. Just saying. Out of service. There's a uh, flatbed here in Ella that needs to go back to the interchange. Is there really? You know, I don't think I checked those cars when I was just there, Sarge. I think it, it was so great when you went past though, John. Okay. That was before we... How fast that time you Past time that one hour. Yeah. Uh, thanks for that follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? Well, you know. That car can stay there, right? It won't hurt for another day. Did we get in trouble for that? Nope. I don't think so. Well, then. I haven't noticed anything on my single player because I've been having to do that with me having so many cars because I've been having to bring full Silva up yeah. to Bryson and then the next day bring the empties back and then oh, take wow. fulls out. Check the ring gauge for this week's rain. Seven inches. It's a lot of rain in like, you know, December. You still have your rain gauge out? You know, it likes to fall over in the wind. And I believe it is currently tipped over and not upright and therefore measuring rain. I'll say I had to take mine out since, since we uh, moved that grain bin. Uh, and then winter came. I mean, so the one I have here at the house is, is auto empty. So I think it only holds like it only holds a little bit of water in it. So it, it can stay out. The one at the farm, yeah, we had to bring in because, you know, it'll freeze and break. Yeah, so ours is glass. Yeah, that's what we have at the farm, too. We've had plastic ones. I like the glass ones a lot more. They're I don't know. Fresher. I got a plastic one at the Underfirth booth at the Farm Progress show that I might try this year. Hashtag freebie. Uh, no. No? Get to buy it? Had to buy this one. At a farm show? They didn't give it to you for free? No, uh, all of the free stuff is like bags and oh. five gallon buckets. Wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. I kind of wish there was one more track here just, but just to park these cars on. But. At least on the bright side, we got. Some wood for when we got new bin panels. Oh, yeah. I don't know, they're probably 6x6 six six or 2x4s or actual 2x4s. Mm, got all roughs on, huh? Yep. Uh, there.
All right. Oh, train. I really don't want you to run away that fast. Need to get some coal in that train, right? Here's land. Turned into the second wettest January. Oh. I don't think anybody's ever called me Big John, by the way. Uh, Trim, what's going? What's up, bro? Only gotten 5.6 the whole month. I have no idea where we're at. I bet today. I don't know. It was weird. It's like, you know, the ground's still frozen here. So, when you do get rain when the ground's frozen... It all just runs puddles and ponds and makes a bloody mess, honestly. If you saw, uh, I posted a picture in Discord earlier today of what we did uh, outside the shed at the farm by accident today. So, not to mention what the lane looks like right now, but you know, it's fine. It is what it is. Yeah, kind of a mess, but at the same time, it happens every year. So, uh, we've been avoiding going down there when the lane's wet and like the ground's not frozen. But the one farmer guy was in there today before we were, so he tore it all up. Trim winter 57 underscore just resubscribed for 20 months. I don't know if you said anything to my message because they gave me ads, but if you did, I'm doing well. Uh, Trim, I just said that nobody's ever called me Big John. So, that was, yeah, a new one. Thank you. Uh, thanks for the 20-month resub as well. Welcome back, man. How's it going? Hope all is well. Hope all is well. I love Brian. Good old Brian. Good old Brian. Let's see. I should probably run the sawmill car or the log cars up first before I do the sawmill switching, right? Uh, not a bad idea. That way they have time to... Like, I'll just run them up and come back down uh, empty. Except in the technical school. That's awesome. That's awesome. And that's quite a run. Sarge, I watched a video last night from the dev team. And apparently if you go from coast to coast on this map without stopping, and I'm assuming this is at like uh, track speed. So if you just like set the train to you know, on AI, you know, uh, apparently it takes two hours of real time. Uh, to do that. That's kind of insane. That's a long time. I agree, but I bet we could do it. <laughs> well, that, now, yeah, if you're going faster, but that's like track speed, you know? <laughs> that's a long time, though. Yeah, but, John, some of those curves, you can go like, yeah. file over, and you can yeah. still be all right. Gotcha, Miss Professor. Hopefully, supposed to be sixty here next week. Trim is good, man. It's good. This is uh, the year. I, I beat this to death. I say it a lot, but you know, I gotta keep reminding myself. This is the year that I'm gonna be happy. So, made some changes back the first of the year, and you know, it's, I'm just gonna be happy. It's it's time. It is definitely time. So I'm gonna do that. But we're doing we're doing great. Ops might have backed into the mailbox tonight with his truck and broke tail light and broke the mailbox, but like we're fine, right? It stuff happens. Uh that did happen though. Uh 
So I wonder how much of a pain that's going to be to fit or to replace, you know? Tail light. Can't All right, yes. Uh, well, the old Fords, I know it was just two screws and you just kind of give it a yank, you know? So, I don't know about this Ram. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, trimming is not an easy thing some days, you know? It's really not. But that's all right. We just keep trying every day. Yeah. Keep trying every day. These are for logs, Mrs. Professor. So, like in Railroads Online, how you start with basically the same car for hauling logs. I'm going to the equivalent of the log camp from Railroads Online right now to park these cars. They'll get filled up. We'll bring them back down here to the pond before we uh, fast time through the night, probably. Because our sawmill's getting a little, a little light on logs, so. But it's all good. The sawmill is our main source of income, so it is definitely a important thing to keep going. We make a ton of money off the sawmill, so like multiple thousands of dollars every every night. So. Yeah. Trying not to be a people pleaser and being too nice. Gotcha. Don't be a jerk either, though. Just saying. Don't be a jerk. I assume this is lined into here, but you never know, so you might as well just check it. Our. Lined in for the red cars. Right. Let's go. Tired of people being jerks. That's unfortunately. Unfortunate. You need some new people to hang out around. Man. You know, it is actually, it's not easy, but sometimes it has to happen. I don't, I don't know your situation, Trim, but you don't, definitely don't have to, you don't have to get into it, obviously. You're not coming here to air all your dirty laundry, you know, but, you know, sometimes in life you, you have to, uh, I don't know, just get people out of your life, you know. You realize that person's not, uh, not good for 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 you and you know it's toxic or whatever they're just you know sometimes you just have to whether that be a, a family member or a friend or whatever it it, it happens you know it definitely happens sometimes you just gotta hey bye have a good life Move on. There's plenty of other people to be friends with or whatever out there in the world. Just saying. I need to take my own advice sometimes too, but you know. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, man. It's crazy to think that... Yeah, we started, yeah, the in-game day today, right? Yeah. We're four hours in, and honestly, we're nowhere near done with today's in-game day. Crazy. Everyone else is realizing, let's, I gotcha. Okay. 
it's kind of wild how long our in-game days are taking now. And we haven't had that. Well, we did have to rescue Trent a little bit earlier. Just a little bit, though. <laughs> that wouldn't have sped us up too much. Right? Uh, just a little. Little. Yeah, because he would have had the Bryson stuff done probably before we got there. It's all good. Damn, you're good, bro. You're good. All right. Turn up the car's engine. Let's go. It happens. All right, so those cars are going to get loaded there, and these cars are going to need to go up farther because there's no room for them here, so they get loaded at a different uh, different site. There are multiple places to load logs, so yeah. Come on, train. Better use my independent chat, I know. Definitely should have. That's all right. We'll get our air pressure back here in a second. There we go. We can start pushing through the brake here in a second. There you go. Bats. Hang on, chat. Watch. You ready? It's like Trent's here. Oh, wait. Trent's like all the way on the other side of the world right now. I don't even know where he's at. Oh, you're up at the cold place, aren't you? Finally, it spawned. Oh, hey, the guys made it. They're, they're at Bryson. Oh, man. You guys, I guess you're going to keep running up the hill. Well, I yeah. was actually sorting the cars here at Bryson. Okay. That's fine. <clears throat> no problem, Trim. We're always here, bro. Trust me, Stream's heard me complain about lots of things over the years, so the least I can do is listen, you know, you know in air quotes, because you're not, you're typing, uh, talk, you, you know what I mean. Yeah. I did see something funny the other now we're, we won't talk about that a topic I like to complain about. Uh, we'll just let that go for tonight it was funny though chat I'm telling you <laughs> it was funny It's probably easier to sort cars at Bryson anyway, isn't it? Large. That's not too bad. I got more tracks there to shuffle them around. Bryson's a great... I like Bryson. I like the yard. It's a good yard. Sorry, Trim. Um, sometimes I gotta, you know, it's one of those topics I know I shouldn't like talk about, so I shouldn't beat that dead horse any more than we already have. So it is what it is. It is what it is. me sometimes I just shouldn't talk about things that pop into my brain you know I'm just saying there are things I just I don't need to talk about right now you know? 
Talk about a broken tail light, you know? Pops probably wouldn't be too happy to know that I'm talking about that, you know? It is what it is. Stuff happens, right? Oh, man. It is, it is, it is. Yeah, sometimes it's definitely better to keep your keep the intrusive thoughts to yourself. <laughs> oh man. That's what Zach would say anyway, right? So if Zach says it then Golly, golly gee, we better better abide by that, right? Or something like that. Trying to get down the hill, but I'm not trying to like, not trying to derail. Oh, not today, chat. Not today. Alrighty, Sarge, I'm coming down the hill. Okay. Oh man. The uh. Uh, is this like, okay. 20 is the limit on this track right here? Dang. I didn't know that. Maybe that's why the cars always squeal when I go through here, huh? <laughs> go through here at like 25, 30? No wonder. It all makes sense now. It all makes sense. It's all right. All right, we got to go switch... The sawmill cars around. Actually, I wonder if that one car up there. We'll try and spend a while since you fast time, right? <coughs> get one of those in there. I can't get two. Cannot get two. the AI do the hill that's probably not a bad idea Kimmy honestly to let the AI do it and a lot of times instead of putting the the fusey thing down the flare I'll just actually line like a log train into here or sometimes into here yeah if I'm on my other map I was playing all right we gotta take all those out we gotta put these cars in there oh boy Oh boy, oh boy. Don't want to derail like some other person. Well, some other person may not care about their safety rating, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm learning though. I didn't realize the speed limit on this uh, was 20. It, it all makes sense now. <laughs> The engine usually is screaming and carrying it on through here, you know? That's all right. It happens. It definitely happens. Well, I'm glad as soon as we, like, left the farm today, it stopped raining. So. Awful nice of it. Is it bad that we spent like all day, Dad and I, working on like Christmas stuff for next year already? We're like fixing stuff before we put it away for the year. Getting stuff ready for next year already. It's kind of weird. Yeah, like, not if that's what you enjoy. Well, true, but it's good to put it away fixed, not broken. You know. There's always that too. Yeah, or like these big tree things. We're just changing the design completely, and well, we're changing the lights out too. So, but it's nice to nice to get some of that stuff done when we're not like, hey, we need to put the display up, you know. So yeah. Until one of these days when we start working on tractors, then we're well, only working on tractors. Let's be real. But it's too muddy at the farm to shuffle stuff around and whatnot right now. No point in tearing up the yard just to move some tractors around from shed to shed. 
Wait till it gets a little drier first. And, you know, maybe a little warmer. No, Jim, I don't go 300 days early. I start putting my stuff up the day after Halloween, usually. But I don't turn it on until Thanksgiving night or sometimes the night after. A lot of times it's Thanksgiving night, though. I, I don't, like I said, I, I put up a lot, so I need to start early. But not, not 300 days early, no. Uh, this past year I had like 10,000 lights maybe, but like a lot of stuff in the yard too. And then year before I had like 20,000 lights. So we went way down on our light count this year, but it's a better display. So It's okay. Or at least in my opinion, it's a better display. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's quite a, uh, it's quite a thing. But, it, you know, I start before Halloween and, or start after Halloween. This year I didn't get it done um, until after Thanksgiving. But motivation is a huge factor with that, so. What about a three-foot Christmas tree and call again? We got one of them in our house. I think it's a four-footer, but yeah. yeah. We don't do the whole decorate in the house thing anymore. We used to. We used to when I was a kid. All that stuff's in our basement somewhere. I know right where it is. It's in the red and green uh, bins. Labeled Christmas. That's where it all is. Yeah, Jeff, well, the, you know, since we cut our trees down, um, lost a lot of potential light there. That's a lot of the bulk of the lights we lost were the lights that would have gone in the trees, in and on the trees. Um, and then the arches... The arches, um, I went from having a hundred and I want to say like 140 lights or something, hundred, I think it was 140 lights per arch went down to 16. So obviously that's going to nuke the light count, right? But it was many, many, uh, in or many LEDs before. And I went to, you know, C7 LEDs. And in my opinion, the C7s just look so much better. So that really cleaned the display up right there and also nuked our um, overall light number down a lot, but that's okay. And then I don't know how many lights were on uh, the big arch that went over the driveway. There was probably... I don't know, six, eight hundred. And now there's like, I want to say it's like 48. But it just looks so much better. So I don't regret it. I wish I would have thought of this sooner, honestly, to change the arches to uh, C7s instead of uh, mini lights. And actually that tree that dad and I were, well, dad took apart today. We were going to try to fix the lights. And then I said, yeah, how about C7s? And he goes, all right. So that's the, that's the plan for that tree as well. Most likely is the C7 treatment. Oh, yeah. I did. Okay. Yeah. Kick those over there. Bring the loco back. Go ahead and set that brick there because this is a downhill slope. So that would want to roll back and cause problems. And there goes the safety rating, you know. Don't want that. That's okay. Uh, 
Uh, I think on that tree I'm going to be building like a whole topper thing to hang the lights to make it a whole lot better. Because right now the lights are just put on with zip ties and they work, but I want to make a hook thing for the top of it. Quarter inch rod. I got a welder. We'll be fine. So the sawmill, is it going to be giving us this many cars every day now? Nine cars? That's a lot. That is a whole, whole lot. Yeah, it'll give you nine cars every day, but then... Yeah, this is where I, why I wear diapers when I stream. Tom Cattle's cheered X100 driving from Nantuhala to LR. L R L R A A A E. Uh, Tomcat, thanks for the uh, bits. Hello, hello. I get it. I see what you did there. So nine cars every day, Dave. Sorry. So yeah, it'll give you nine cars every day, and then when there's too many cars to spawn in, and it'll do like a second interchange. Mm -hmm then a lot of times it'll give you extra cars. Oh, okay. Yeah. I gotcha. So like bonus cars. Which is why, yeah, which is why we had those seven. Yeah. That's crazy. Wait, there's seven? Can't remember. Yeah. Now. I have to split that or not? Um, no, you shouldn't need to. Hooray. Because I don't really want to. <laughs> Wasn't it like eight and a fifteen sixteenths of a car or something? Yeah. My fav favorite measurement, chat, fifteen sixteenths. My favorite measurement, you betcha. Oh, it's the best. I'll tell you what, this loco doesn't really want to push these out of here very, very like, efficiently. That's me. Alright, so what do we got cooking? We got Trent on another run. Is that what's going on here? Uh, he's, he's coming down the hill. Oh, he's still with, coming uh, down the hill? Cars. That's hey. okay, I was still moving some stuff. Wait, so where the coal cars need to go to the interchange too? Uh, yep. Oh gosh. We're never getting done today. <laughs> oh, we could just leave those coal cars up there and bring the coal yeah. and Alarca and Fontana all down oh. all at once. So that's gonna take a double header, huh? Okay. Not, not really. What, to bring them back? Yeah, everything. I mean, you, Maybe to you bring had everything trouble. back, but not just the coal car. No, oh, yeah, everything. I mean, you had trouble on the hill earlier and had to. Yeah, but I also I get got a small. Um, yeah. Engine. Yeah. Hopefully, one of these days we'll make some money, and you know, you know. Yeah, but, when 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 we go to the next day, we'll either have money to pay off the loan or buy an engine. You know, it's up to you. Engine. Engine, for sure. Alright, so I need to go and I need to grab these from that end. I guess I'm just gonna run all the way down here on the second. Drop the cars, keep running. Yeah, you bet. You bet. And hey, the log cars are probably ready soon, too. Well, when we do this last set of cars, do we want to fast sign to the next day? And call it there? I don't know that you're gonna, you're not gonna get those delivered before. In stream tonight. I don't think, anyway. I just get these sawmill cars pushed in, put it down there. Doesn't mean you can't run those. We probably won't won't pass time tonight at all. So we'll have to hold that loco conversation. 
on the next time we play. That's all right. All right, we're going definitely fast enough to cut these loose. Hey, Trent, are you hauling cars? Uh, nope, I am uh, bobtailing. Hey, I've cars. got some. Sorry, Sarge. Yeah, no, you're good. I've got some uh, two cars for the the hardwood area to drop off. Uh, they need to be pushed in, and unless I did a bunch of switching around here right now, I ain't going to be able to push them in. Are they on the other side of the Orca? They're on this side. They're for uh, bison. Oh, God, is there a room back there? Man. That's crazy. Trent, I thought you were hauling coal cars down the hill, no? No, I said I left them up there earlier. Oh. Okay. I thought you were hauling them down now. Never mind. Two cars, I'm not sure which land. I don't know if there's room for those oh, up there sorry, either, Sarge. Oh, hello. Brakes, buddy, brakes. Oh, no. That was the safety rating chat. Uh, no, no. We're just looking at each other. <laughs> they speak of the safety rating. Yeah, I can go right here, Serge. Okay. Definitely don't look how, how fast I was going in. <laughs> This car above. And is that shit the way we need it? Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. All right. And okay, those are fine there. Let's go. I love the sawmill work, Jan, every day. It is worth a lot of money, so it's okay. I think it's fine anyway. It's very repetitive work. But I guess that's kind of this game in general. It's all very repetitive. But that's okay. Yeah. Take those Arca Junction side up there, then, though, Sarge? I'm gonna take them on up. I think that engine will do that. You don't have that many cars, right? There's the uh, two hardwood ones. Well, then I might as well just go back up there, then. Make sure you fill up with water, Trent. Yeah, that, that's why I was coming back. There was a large conjunction cars we brought back up. Oh, I could give them to you if you want them. But you don't necessarily need the big engine, right, to get them there? Or do you? Good. I'm doing pretty good right now. I don't know how many there are. I don't know. I didn't pay attention to your uh, train when you went by me there, there. Or I went by you, whatever. Five cars. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Four of them are empty coal cars, so. Oh. Uh, a... They show they they show empty, but they're loaded. Oh yeah, ballast. Yeah, the okay, never mind. Yeah, the yeah, five hundred and eighty ton. Think that engine can pull all that? <laughs> Stopped yet? <laughs> all right. Well, Trent's in the neighborhood, right? I gotta go back up anyway. Yeah. All right. All right, all right. Wish this game had a demo. 
Remember when that used to be a thing? Like every video game had a demo. That's just not as much of a thing anymore. Um, I feel like I know some do, but I feel like it's just not as much of a thing as it used to be. Demos were great. I used to love playing just random demos of games. You play a game for a little bit, like yeah, it's whatever. You play it for a little more, and you're like, it's pretty cool. I want to buy it. Unfortunate that we've gone away from that as a gaming world. Whatever you want to call it. Alright, so all the cars are in. Hooray. Now, technically back to logs. But I think we're gonna we're gonna shut it. Shut down the stream for the night. Shareware. I meant games coming right, or like, you know, demos from the game company. Actually, what was really awesome was the, the arcade games on Xbox 360. There were some really fun little games in there. Just saying, there were some really, really fun little games in there. Yeah. All right. Uh, guys, GS, I'll talk to you in a little bit. All right. Those of you watching over on YouTube, have a great rest of your day. And as always, uh, toodles.